Hey everybody, it's been a while since I turned on this camera and checked out myself in this viewfinder. Okay, so either my brows are uneven or my head's uneven, something isn't right in this area. And I mean, I often don't have my brows matched exactly and it's really hard for me to do. And I always think to myself about that saying that um, your eyebrows aren't supposed to be twins, they're supposed to be sisters. But I think today I don't even meet that expectation. I feel like they're more distant cousins or something like that. So this arch is higher. This one's slightly higher up here and this one goes more down, I think. I have to either pluck them or I don't know if I do them. You know what? This doesn't matter. When we're both 60, 70 years old, this moment won't matter anymore. So I'm just not going to worry about it. I try to think like that more and live my life more in that sense lately. Um, and also on another note that doesn't really matter, I ran out of Candy K and that was a huge disaster this morning when I realized I had bought ginger, not Candy K, and I threw away my empty Candy K bottle when I was in Hong Kong because I thought I had another one and I don't and if I knew that I would have continued to scrape off the bottom because I really like that one I feel like this one looks too dark on me. That's okay 70 year old Taylor won't mind the ginger lips um, Anything else I can analyze okay, let's just get into this video which isn't really What are you doing down here? Do you want to say hi? Which isn't really a vlog or a main video today to be honest. I don't really know what I'm doing I've um Today I've just been cleaning up around the house, you know, like dishes. You okay there? Are we okay to continue? I've just been doing some mundane things like dishes, laundry, cleaning my makeup, brushes, that sort of thing that's not interesting enough to film for you guys. And I mean, maybe it is, like some days I would film those type of things, but since I haven't filmed in so long, I feel like there's this big pressure to do a really good video to start out redoing videos, if that makes sense. And I always think to myself, oh, what's going to be my comeback video this time? Like, what am I going to do that's so interesting? And I've been thinking about it a lot lately, and then it's been putting me off making videos because I'm like, no, that, that's not that entertaining, that's not that great. And then so I was just like, you know what, it's raining outside, I can't do anything that exciting today. Um, I'm just going to throw on this comfy sweater of my boyfriend's and my keep on my pajama pants as you do on this sort of rainy, chill, cloudy day. Um, and I'm just going to sit down and turn on my camera and talk to you guys because I don't really have any plans and I don't know what to do and I feel like I haven't seen or talked to you guys in a while so that's what I did. I just sat here. Turn on my camera and I'm going to talk to you guys and I'm sorry if this video isn't that entertaining today but I kind of wanted to just like tell you what I've been up to and what I've been doing lately and I really miss you guys to be honest and I really miss doing this sort of thing but I don't have anything exciting going on today so I, I hope you guys don't mind. I have, I have an agenda of things I want to talk about on my phone um, because I want to sort of get to the point and and not blobble on about useless stuff, but I feel like I've already been doing that, so let's just get rid of that now. So yeah, I'm gonna have my tea with you guys, my Chinese medicinal tea. Another note about my face, look how long my eyelashes have gotten. Can you guys see that? I don't, is it blurry? My eyelashes have gotten so long that they touch my eyebrows if I curl them. Like I have to not curl them and put barely any mascara. I just put a tiny little bit because my lashes are like brown with blonde and my eyelashes are actually ombre, it's weird. So I need to put a bit of black mascara just to make them a bit darker, but they are so long right now and I definitely need to stop using the serum for a little while because they're getting a bit out of control. So if you don't know what serum I'm talking about, it's in my beauty 2015, no, <laughs> it was last year, 2016 beauty favorites video. I will link that below, but it worked wonders and I didn't even use it every day, like every three days or something, but they're crazy long. And yeah, I'm going to keep using the brow serum because maybe I can fix this unevenness more. But I'm going to stop with the lash for a little bit. Uh, like maybe I'll do it once a week or something just to kind of like maintain them. Um, where have I been? What have I been up to lately? 
Is my camera still on? Uh, when did I last see you guys? I think my last video was, oh yeah, the night Sharla came over. Um, I saw Alexa, all of that stuff. Um, so the next day, I, no, I left to go to Hong Kong on Sunday. So on Saturday, I was just running errands, packing my bag, that sort of thing before leaving. It was just like a hectic day of that. And then um, on Sunday, I left to Hong Kong. And the main reason I went there was my boyfriend's family was visiting from France. So he went ahead of time and I just wanted to go I want to see them, but I didn't want to go too long because I feel like I've been traveling a lot lately. I didn't want to leave Rosie for a long time. Um, so I plan to go there for just four days to spend some time with them and then come back. Um, and I didn't feel like bringing my camera this time. I really just wanted to be in the moment and spend time with them and like just do kids things that maybe you guys didn't find that interesting. and. Um, yeah, that sort of thing. So I plan to just take like a few days off, but that few days turned into much longer because when I, I arrived on Sunday, I found out that they got sick. They had ear infections and like a cold flu type symptoms. So all the things we planned to do in those few days had to be pushed back later. Like we wanted to go to Disneyland and do a bunch of stuff like that. Um, it was his niece's birthday, so we planned to go to Disneyland for her birthday. So we pushed everything back a few days and I decided to change my flight and stay longer so that we could do all the things we had planned. So Sunday was just, what did we even do Sunday night? I don't remember. Let me check my, my notes. I don't think we did much Sunday or even Monday for that matter. I can't remember, so it must have not been that exciting. Um, oh no, yeah, Tuesday was um, his niece's birthday, so we had met and just did, did some indoor things. Um, we had a cake for her, we went shopping to get them a toy at Toys R Us, and his nephew got this car race track thing that we assembled and we just watched for hours. Like he could literally just stare at it for hours. So we just kind of played with that. He's he's almost three now. So he's at that stage where he really likes to explore and build things. And he's just really curious about everything and he kind of copies everything you do. So it's really fun to just hang out with him and just do those sort of creative things together. And that's what we did Wednesday too. We also stayed indoor at this children's playground area where they have those those um ball those like pools of balls and slides and like tons of stuff to do so that was a lot of fun i felt like a little kid again just like running around those jungle gyms and bouncy things and driving cars that i'm too big to fit in <laughs> thursday we finally got to disneyland they're feeling much better so we got outside and we went to hong kong disneyland um i was actually planning on filming that day and i took out my camera to start my vlog in the morning and uh, I don't know, I kind of, by the time I met up with them, I kind of just stopped filming and I didn't really feel like filming. I have to say, I kind of, I'm happy that I made that decision because it was their first time going to Disneyland and that first moment and at that age or around that age, even a little bit older maybe is better, but the first time they go there and at that age, it's amazing to see those type of things like Disneyland through their eyes because the magic is so real. Like those are really the, the princesses and that's really Buzz Lightyear, year. And everything around them is just so new and, ma and amazing and magical and real. And I just love to see that through their eyes and not through my camera lens and, and you know, not planning to make some sort of entertaining video. Like I like, I, I enjoyed having a clear mind and just seeing everything firsthand. Although I do love to like, one of the reasons why I like making vlogs is I can remember, re rewatch, and re remember like amazing moments in my life, and this was definitely one of them. However, I feel like I'm gonna get the chance to make a vlog and film another time with them at Disneyland, but I'll never get that that first moment, and I'm really happy that. I was just there present. But we did take uh, a few videos and photos just on our phone quickly without thinking about anything, which I've inserted here just to have those as the memories. But like, I mean, I didn't focus on making a, a, a entertaining vlog that day. Friday, what did we, oh, we ran errands in the morning. It was our last day in Hong Kong since um, we left on Saturday. So yeah, my boyfriend had meetings. I did a little bit of shopping, although I didn't really buy anything. Um, I was just walking around trying to kill a bit of time <clears throat> and I was feeling a little 
a little bit sick, like a little bit under the weather because I, I don't know, maybe I caught something from them or I don't know what it is. And I didn't really feel like putting on makeup. I was kind of feeling like looking, I was looking like crap. So I just put on a sick mask and I was walking around the mall and I went to the Starbucks Reserve, which I have been going to every day lately. I will insert my Snapchat here, but they have the coolest coffees with the method it's called like siphon siphon or something like that and it looks like a complete science experiment like it looks like a drug lab or something is about to go down when you're sitting there watching them do it but i was talking to the guy and it got me really interested in different methods of making coffee because i didn't realize how complicated it was and he told me it's kind of like making pastries or making chocolate which immediately clicked in my mind like i know how hard it is to make chocolate i've been there so so he was telling me like you need to have the precise measurements like down to the gram you need to measure that you need to have the precise temperature and like timing of how you do things with this method so i thought that was so cool and it really made me appreciate the coffee more and then when it was finally ready and i tried it it tasted so smooth slightly sweet like a really complex flavor to it and usually i like to put a little bit of soy milk or even a little bit of sugar or one or the other sometimes both but this coffee really didn't need anything it was just oh, it was, it's such a unique flavor so i really loved it so i've been going there all the time that i was in hong kong and so when i went in that day and i was wearing a sick mask the lady was like i wanted to get an iced coffee um and she was kind of like no you're sick you can't have anything cold because in chinese culture I'm not sure if in other cultures, but I know when you are there and you have a cold, you're not supposed to eat anything cold or drink anything cold. You're supposed to only have like room temperature or warm fluids to balance your body out. And so she was like, no, you're sick, you can't have it. And I kept insisting like, no, I just really want it. And she was like, okay, I'll give it to you today. But if you come back tomorrow, you're not having that. And I thought that was so, so sweet. Like how much she cared. Like she has no idea who I am. She doesn't know me, but this is the thing I love about Hong Kong is they are really like honest and blunt. They will tell you things like they are so they don't waste your time for one. And then they're like family, like they really care about you and it, everything there just feels so warm and welcoming. And I don't know, I just, it really feels like home to me. So I really enjoy my time when I go there. Um, so yeah, I got my iced coffee, went back to the hotel room and then I got into this I don't know, like I didn't know, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do with myself when I'm like taking time off vlogging. And I started to watch YouTube videos and I get, for me, like I'll get really into one person. Sometimes like I either, I haven't watched them for a while or I discover someone new and then I just binge watch all their videos all afternoon. So that's kind of what I did that day. Like I got into different new people or people I haven't watched in a while and I just continue watching and watching. And the person I really got into that day was Tessa Violet. Um, I've watched some of her videos before, but I re-got into her and I watched a whole bunch that afternoon and I just really enjoy her chatty videos, which maybe inspired this one too. Like she's just really raw and like unapologetically herself in her videos and, and I really enjoy her content. So I, I got into her and then I also got into the mini fridge because I was left alone in my hotel room and when I'm... Uh, that's always the first thing I look at when I go into the hotel room, either the room service menu or the mini bar fridge. And I was at that point where I was in my hotel alone. I was a little bit hungry. I wanted to snack on something. I was watching YouTube videos. I was really enjoying myself. So I opened a box of um, rice crackers, I think it was. And I just wanted to have a few. I ended up going through the whole mini bar fridge, eating everything I set my eyes on in the room. And then my boyfriend came back and said it was time to go to dinner. And I felt so guilty because I had just eaten everything, but I, don't, I felt like I had no other option that afternoon. And then not only did we go to dinner, but it was actually a buffet with his family. And somehow I still managed to scarf down four plates of food that night. And the random M&Ms his nephew fed me. Um, yeah, I feel like <laughs> I feel like I gained like at least 20 pounds that trip. I don't know, I'm not going to lie, my clothes fit a little bit tighter than when I arrived in Hong Kong, but that's okay. And then Saturday we flew back to Japan and <laughs> Rosie got a haircut. Did you get a haircut? You look very cute. 
Yesterday, I was just cleaning up. I made some chicken soup, which turned out really good, and we went for a long walk in Odaiba. There's a really nice area in Japan if you ever want something to do at night and you're not the type of like clubbing or bar person that you want to go to Roppongi or Shinjuku or that sort of thing. You just want a chill night, but you want to go out and do something. Go to Odaiba, like head to Aqua City. And there is this gorgeous view of the Rainbow Bridge and the Tokyo Tower. And there's like a beachfront that you can walk along. The stores are open a bit later, like for coffee or ice cream. So we just got Baskin Robbins ice cream and we were walking around and let, letting Rosie run around. That's what we did yesterday. And today is Monday, so I think I've caught you up to date. It's Monday afternoon. That's all that's really been going on. I've been doing a lot of, a bit of traveling, seeing family, loving, playing, a lot of eating, basically just living life. And I have been enjoying it. And I'm back in Japan now. I'm ready to get back to work, start making a lot more content for you guys. And I have to say thank you to you guys for just like sticking around and even messaging to just let me know that you miss me, but you'll be here when I'm ready and you, you, you really um, understand and actually even encourage me to take some time off. So yeah, thank you for giving me the time to just breathe and take care of my offline family and now I'm ready to take care of you guys, my online family. We can get back to work, back to making daily content, hopefully, so with the odd day off. Um, yeah, I encourage you guys to do that too. Like just, even if it's just for like an hour a day or something, just get together with someone or you love or do something you love and just switch off everything else and just fully focus on that and devour yourself in that. I don't know, I, I find it so rewarding when I get to do that sometimes. So I hope you guys have some time to do that too. Oh, I should also choose the winner of my giveaway because it's been over a week since I announced that. So let's do that. Okay, wow. There's actually like well over 7,000 comments. That is insane. So I'm gonna choose, pick, randomly pick winner. Dun, dun, dun. Jazzy Jane's Gaming Corner. I live in the UK. I'm so excited for all the outdoor festivities that will be going on in spring. I'm getting kind of tired of the cold and staying indoors. All right, so Jazzy Jane, you are the winner of the Sakura giveaway. I will contact you. I can see a lot of you guys like the Sakura stuff, the limited item stuff in here, here in Japan. And another collection just came out on March 1st. So I picked up one cup yesterday from Starbucks. Um, one that was still available and I'm gonna try and find more to make a package if I can and if I can't find more cups Then I'll just put some other items from Japan to make another package So I will be doing another giveaway really soon. So please check back for that. And yeah, that's all that's going on um, Now you're up to date with my life. I want to know what you guys have been doing lately. So in the comment section, please tell me one or two things that something good that has happened in your life lately or something exciting that's coming up or even something bad that you just want to talk about because I feel like a lot of my viewers give really good advice and you guys always talk to each other really so kindly and friendly. So yeah, just tell me something about your life. What have you been up to lately? What's going on? I want to know. Just, just update me on what you guys have been up to. And I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna continue doing my mundane things around the house this afternoon. I'm gonna edit this and try and get it up for you guys tonight so that you finally have a video to watch. So I will see you guys very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you very soon. Bye. <laughs> the Japanese is so good. Okay. Yo, you look so I'm trying to talk so high.